everyone, welcome back to Prime 5, your five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. We're on our road to 80,000 subscribers, so I would really appreciate if you would drop a like on this video and subscribe. It would make me just oh, all too giddy if we could hit it. Well, I don't know. Before Thanksgiving, that would be sweet. Speaking of Thanksgiving, uh, I want to say thank you to all of you for being here and being a part of my day. Now, I want you to go down into the comment section below and let me know what your favorite starting Pokemon is. Yeah, that's right. I don't care what Pokemon game we're talking about. Which one is your favorite starter? This might be relevant later. That being said, let's get into today's news. We got some stuff here about Harvestella. What? Why are we talking about Harvestella? Well, I guess you'll find out in a little bit. We got news on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet today, along with It Takes Two. We also have updated Switch numbers in the UK. Oh, and yes, some bad Sonic Frontiers news. It's going to be a pack show. So without further ado, let's get into the news. So our first story deals with Harvestella because Harvestella has launched on Switch today. Little bit of a weird situation because review copies were sent out late for this game, meaning that no, we still don't have reviews. And one could argue that maybe that means Square Enix is hiding something here, but maybe they're not. It's a $60 game on Switch. It is a Switch exclusive. It's their take on the Harvest Moon style games. Uh, the review scores are, well, not there, but... What we do know is that one review score is out there, and that's from Famitsu, where it scored a 31 out of 40, which anything that's 30 plus from Famitsu is generally considered a good score. Now, there is a day one update as well, and I want to remind you, hey, the biggest thing here is there is a free demo. So you can go try before you buy. I suggest everybody does that when demos exist. I wish demos existed for every game. So take that for what you will, but yes, Harvestella is out on Nintendo Switch right now. Now. now, speaking of things that are out right now, we have two more things to talk about out right now. One of them's a game and one of them's a system. First up, the game, It Takes Two. That's right, It Takes Two has launched today on Nintendo Switch. It will cost you about $40, and unlike the prior game we talked about, there's actually a bunch of reviews for this game on Nintendo Switch. It scored an 87 on Metacritic, which isn't as high as it scored on other platforms, but still is a very respectable score on Switch. And guys, this was the 2021 game of the year, so definitely a high quality game on Switch. Really glad to have it over. You guys should go check it out if you're interested. Now, that's not the only thing that launched today. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Switch OLED Special Edition has launched today. It is sold out online at the time of recording. However, it's highly likely that some of your local retail stores will have it. Again, it was available today, which means you can buy it online and in person. So you might need to run around to various stores to get it. It does run $360, which is a $10 price hike over the base OLED price. Nintendo has been consistently doing this with Switch OLED Special Editions for one reason or another. There's nothing else included. It's just the Switch OLED with the dock, like normal. It's just, you know, with custom paint and decals. But hey, it does look pretty cool, and I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not going to be picking one up, I don't believe, today. But hey, I'm just waiting on that Zelda Special Edition that we all know is inevitable, right? We hope. I don't know, maybe. Now this next story here, we don't have official numbers for, but it's important to note, I guess a little bit of significance here, or maybe insignificance. So Christopher Dring uh, is a reporter out of the UK who gives a sales update every single week. And it turns out that there is some positive news on sales for Nintendo Switch. And that is that Nintendo Switch has finally surpassed Xbox One in the UK. Now Xbox One, didn't sell incredibly well. So some people might be surprised to find out that it only just passed Xbox One. Well, he decided he wanted to address this when people said, how the heck didn't it already pass Xbox One? Is Switch just not popular in the UK? And he does note the Switch itself, sort of like the Xbox One, isn't a huge hit in the UK like PlayStation systems. The interest in handheld gaming doesn't seem to be very large and there seems to be a heavy bias towards consoles there, especially ones that have games like FIFA, which is one of the most popular games there. P FIFA and Call of Duty are sort of the big dogs. Now, that being said, this generation, things seem to be a little bit different between Xbox and PlayStation because Xbox and PlayStation have actually been really, really tight in sales 
Don't know if this is due to Game Pass or whatever, or because maybe the Activision Blizzard deal might be happening. However, PS5 is ahead of the Xbox series, but last week it narrowly beat out Xbox. So the sales are super tight and it seems that Xbox is picking up some popularity there. This seems to be a Switch specific issue, maybe because it doesn't have the third party games that people care about, or it could simply just be people aren't interested in handheld gaming in the UK in general. Whatever the case might be, it did pass Xbox One. So next milestone, I believe, is PlayStation 3. Uh, and it might get past that. PlayStation 3 actually didn't sell that well in the UK. Obviously better than Xbox One. But, you know, time will tell if it can pass that as well. Maybe sometime next year. So we warned you the other day that Sonic Frontiers was out in the wild. That people had gotten their hands on retail copies and leaks were happening on 4chan, a whole bunch of videos. There's actually video footage on YouTube at this point, but for some reason hasn't been shut down. Maybe it's coming from tiny channels, so they just haven't noticed it yet. But whatever the case might be, it's gotten worse, and it's gotten to its inevitable conclusion, and that is that Sonic Frontiers has been dumped online. Now it's getting fully data mined, and yes, people are trying to play ROM versions of the game. So... Yeah, the leaks are only going to get worse. This game doesn't come out officially for four more days. But man, it's it's going to be hard waiting until Tuesday when so many people are very curious about this one to not go sneak a peek, not go watch multiple hours of footage uh, from stuff that's not from official media. But, you know, Sonic Frontiers is a game that I'm highly anticipating. I know many of you are as well. I know as Switch owners, we're actually kind of used to all Switch exclusives getting leaked. For some reason, Harvest Stella was never leaked, but yeah, this is unfortunate. Uh, I don't know if the Switch version's floating out there. They're not being very specific on which version's floating out there. And I'm going to be honest, I really don't care because I'm not going to be playing the ROMs. So if you guys want to dig for them and look for them, just know they exist. If you want to avoid spoilers, might be time to start muting everything on your social media accounts related to Sonic Frontiers. If that means this video gets muted, well, that sucks. But anyways, folks, that's what we got for you today. Nice and quick, nice and easy, some big stories. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you have an amazing weekend. I don't know what's happening content-wise this weekend, but what I do know is that we should always end our day with a smile. Because you know what? You never know who that smile might make a difference for. And then, for honest, the biggest difference might be yourself.